This code sample includes a simple web form with a list and a text field. The list is a control Its name is list box. The text field is also a control, the text box control. When we execute this code, the web browser receives an HTML document that, if we check the source code, we can find a select element for presenting the list. We can find input element with the type text in order to present the text field. If we check the code, if we check the events of the text box, we can find text change assigned with text box one underscore text change, meaning that we can expect having a function in the code behind that its name is text box one underscore text changed meaning that whenever the text inside this, this text box is changed then we can expect this function to be invoked. If we check the code behind we can find this function with this code. It actually takes the text from the text box and adds it as a new item to the list. This should happen whenever the text the text within the text box is changed and it should happen as soon as the user navigate outside of the, that text box pressing tab takes us outside of that text box so we can expect that when running this code entering a text let's say the word um, Jerusalem now if we press tab we expect the focus to get out of the text field and the list to be um, populated with one item. However when we leave this, this text box nothing happens. If we go back to the Visual Studio uh, we can find that one of the properties of this text box is auto post back. Auto post back default value is false. If the value of the, this um, the attribute, the property is true, then each time the text within this text box is changed, a request will be sent from the web browser to the server side with information about what happens and on the server side we can have in such case a function that will be invoked in this case this function so let's change the value of the auto post back property into true and recheck the code Control F5. Now, when I enter a name, let's say France, and press Tab, meaning going out of the scope of the text box, as you can see, the list was populated with the new item. Now, if I do the same press tab, meaning getting the out of the text box, again a request from this web browser will be sent to the server side and a new item will be added to the list. This can go on and on. As you can see, now we also get the scroll bar. 